Hey guys, I'm Rita, a digital accountant. In today's episode, I will share my review about accounting software, accounting. Accounting is an accounting software. There are two different words, but they spell the same. So accounting is an accounting software for sole traders like freelancers or small businesses, but it can accommodate also a larger scale businesses. You just need to unlock or subscribe for the features what you actually need to manage your larger scale business. I have worked with free forever accounting package and this is my review. Accounting packages. Yes, accounting has two packages. One is paid, I would say almost all inclusive package and other one is free forever and i worked with free forever package and i can tell you guys that it is fully comprehensive to use to record your business transactions from finance perspective and you do not need to pay a penny or cent to use this accounting software plus you do not need to provide car details or bank details when you're registering and start using free package but there is a trick. It has a couple of manual processes that you will need to go through. And if you are ready to roll your sleeves up, I would roll if I would have sleeves, then you can actually enter all transactions from A to Z and run your business operations from accounting successfully. Only thing what you will need to do is just manually enter expenses, manually enter bank transactions, but you can actually reconcile your bank as well as issue invoices and record invoices and in some level to have input in stock management. Mainly about pricing side, not in a quantity sense, so you cannot manage quantities, you will need to purchase separate feature for it. But at the end of the day, you are able to also see income and expenses reports that include also profit and loss report to see how well actually your business have done in past period or maybe even in past financial year or in tax year. So that report will provide profit at the end and that is a number if you are a sole trader you want to know because that will determine how much tax most likely you will need to pay. Pricing limitations. If you are on free forever package or accounting premium package, so paid package, doesn't matter there is features or functions for which you will need to pay separately. And that is not noted on plans when you go through that section. So if you are on free forever package, so you don't pay, you pay nothing, for using this package but if you want to save time on manually entering expenses you can opt for paying separately for automatic uh, uploads of receipts so system reads key information from receipt pre-enters in fields and you can check and post it on system easy and quickly right the same feature is paid for in a paid package so what is the difference between free package and paid package if you still need to pay, pay for features, right? Difference is in users. So if you have more users on uh, in your business and you will need to provide more user access to accounting, then you will need to go for paid package. Also, if you want to save time on uh, entering bank transactions, then automated bank feeds are included in paid package. Plus access to chart of accounts and balance sheets and trial balance. There are a couple more uh, features or functions what are included in pay package. But such, such a feature like or function like a double entry is not included in accounting neither of packages. So accounting is cash accounting based accounting software but if you want to use double entry you will need to pay for it separately, even if you are on a paid package. And also, if you want to access customer statements or supplier statements, issue credit notes or debit notes, 
you will need to pay for that separately even if you are on paid package so you can have these features on free forever package as well as on paid package but you need to pay separately so it's why I'm calling these are limitations and these are accounting apps that you can unlock or subscribe for for these separate features to save your time or to have more flexibility like for example having customer statements to be sent out well you will need to pay for it making text digital it is kind of hot topic in past months and it will not calm down until all reports what we currently submit on HMRC will be submitted directly from some sort of software and also there would be all receipts or information kept digitally so it's easier to track trace and uh, check information let's call it so accounting provides making tax digital for VAT currently so you can currently submit your VAT reports directly to HMRC from accounting account but it is paid for features so if you want to use NTD for VAT you will need to pay quick note you will save a little bit money if you will decide to pay for whole year instead of opting in for a monthly subscription so uh, if you go for an annual uh, price it will cost you about four dollars per month so another question arises will accounting provide MTD for income tax and I have no doubt that accounting will have a separate feature called MTD for income tax for sole traders and landlords who will reach a threshold requirement uh, starting tax year from 6th April 2024 but be prepared to pay for it if MTD for VAT is paid feature then I have no doubt that MTD for income tax will be paid feature as well. Multiple organizations. So if you have multiple organizations or businesses and you are wondering how you can combine them into account to make sure that you can separate, let's say income and expenses and see how profitable is each income stream or revenue stream as per your businesses. So, if you have multiple sole trader businesses, like my example, I have, for example, photography business and also I have selling ice creams business. How I can actually combine and look at it? Don't look further. Accounting actually provides you an option to create unlimited organizations or businesses from your main dashboard. So you can have a separate business for photography and then you can have a separate business for ice cream okay these are two my businesses yeah but I'm just trying to give you an example then on each of these businesses is separate environment you can have a logo and a business name and you can issue invoices to your customers from each of these businesses also you can record expenses if you can easily split them between those businesses so you will be able to see how profitable each of those businesses are and you do not need to register with different email addresses or um, different phone numbers and etc it's all on your main account dash dashboard where you can have separate businesses and I should not forget to mention you do not need to pay separately to have an option to create multiple businesses or organizations easy and simple well done accounting <laughs> reports I want to bring your attention to reports not that there is something wrong with reports it's just you need to pay an attention to one key feature okay this feature is not paid feature it's just a feature how report is presented there are two accounting methods accruals and cash on cash basis or on accruals basis so on accruals basis 
your reports will display all transactions and all invoices, customer invoices or sales invoices or your supplier invoices or purchase invoices once they've been entered on the system. However, on cash basis accounting, only invoices which have been paid, so if you have received money or money you paid out, will be showed or displayed in this report. So if you are a sole trader who uses cash accounting method, so reports only when money has hit your bank account or cash account or where you have actually spent your money, yeah, so you have spent money, that's what I meant, then all reports are defaulted to accruals basis. So either you can edit or amend this report to make sure that it is type or basis has been changed to cash or you can create a completely new report. So pay attention how reports are displayed so you get correct information. As you know, invoices which have been entered the system doesn't mean that you have actually received money for this invoice or you have actually paid money out if you have supplier invoice with 30 days payment terms. Imports. I need to ab admit something. You can little bit save your manual processes if you use import files and you would say, well, Rita, why you didn't say this one at the beginning on review? You said there's lots of manual processes. Yeah, you can save your time on imports, but you will need to first figure out how import files work. The samples or templates what you can, so template what you can download has a sample line, very top line provided. But it doesn't provide you all different options what you need to enter. So for example, uh, items. I want to upload an items on my accounting account. And you can upload, but then you need to know different features what, what are available uh, on this item section. So actually items, what you're entering, can be a service item or product item. So if you don't specify and use a sample what um, accounting provides, then by default you might apply actually service in all that column down in all rows for all your products. But service items are maybe only two out of your ten what you want to add. So that is the difference. You will need to figure out on Excel spreadsheet what kind of information you want to enter because if you will use a sample information and will default something, Either you will need to take a time to delete all those transactions or figure out how you can correct if you have entered them incorrectly. And when I looked at transactions, that table is from compared to items table, transactions table is uh, got lots of columns and good luck on figuring stuff out. <laughs> accounting is comprehensive accounting software that has been developed, I would say, mainly for sole traders like freelancers and small medium businesses. However, it can be used by larger scale businesses as well due to the comprehensiveness of what this accounting software provides, especially features for features which you can pay separately for. Free forever package is great as you can actually manage your receivables and payables. You cannot see aging reports, you would need to pay for those separately, but you can add invoices, um, supplier invoices, and pay within terms and conditions, so when the payment is due, you do not need to mark those invoices as paid immediately. And also when you issue invoices, you can mark invoices as paid when you actually receive those payments. So there is so many great features on free package that you can utilize. And as I said, it is comprehensive accounting software for whatever scale business you have. I hope you found my accounting review useful, but if you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. Also. Just a note, I have shared the link in the description section below to my complete 
accounting tutorial where I am presenting my buy and sell business. Go and check it out how it went. Thank you for watching and I will see you next episode. Bye!